this school has been chosen as part of a legacy project for the Arms uh, Forces Day uh, celebrations. And uh, the, a, a team of about 33 naval members from facilities was chosen uh, to refurbish this school, uh, fix it up and make it ready for the minister to hand over to the school principal. that deals with learners with barriers to learning. Uh, mostly we've got uh, 490 learners that are staying around Cape Town, Langa, Philippi, Cross Road, New Cross, uh, Old Cross Road, Lansdowne, Fuleni, Delft. We cater all those learners. They have barriers to learning challenges, especially reading and writing. They were taken from mainstream schools to our schools. They are being referred by psychologists. They are being screened. They come here with a new curriculum that you are offering. That starts from grade one to grade nine. Uh, with 50% are skills and currently we are doing eight skills. Woodwork, bricklaying, welding, hospitality, office admin, retail and wool. It's been 11 years that the school has been uh, uh, carrying on and I've been writing the letters asking only one thing that I wanted us to have. It was a spot field. I never knew it will just come unexpectedly and I thought it was a joke when they were saying that they will be doing that for us. But more people were starting to come in and they wanted me to take them through the school building I took them from class to class, they started to write, looking at what wasn't right, looking at the painting, at the building, at the windows, at the structure that we have, at what we were lacking, and they all write all these things down. And when they say that they will be doing this to us, I thought I, it's either it's one of the jokes, they will come and go. But two weeks down the line, more people started to come. And now it was then that all the plan was laid out to me that each day I'll be having 40 people will be working in all that we needed and they will do the ground. I was thinking that I was in a dream, you know, and I was always saying, I really I don't believe this. Is this happening each day that I was coming? I'll come in, I'm arriving at school around about half past seven. I'll find people inside the building starting to work both men and ladies, hard work that they were doing. Weekends from, um, they were here around about six o'clock till six at night, every day. They started to renovate the classrooms, you know, our theory classrooms. We used to have blue and white paint. And we thought that was the perfect paint that we were having. When they started to paint the door white, the light that came to that door, I couldn't believe it was. This is us, and this is the classroom. To our school governing body, the principal and the staff, we have created and worked hard to create light for others. When we do so, we naturally light our own way. And in so doing, we let this light shine into the many windows of our soul so that the glory of the world may beautify it. And like a colorful bloom of temporary lights in the sky, we see this light shine in our everyday life. Because, Madam Minister, love is work made visible. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp to put it under a basket. But we light a lamp to put it on a stand, because it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So don't feel bad, people, if people remember you only when they need you. Feel privileged that you are like a candle that comes to their mind when there is darkness. Always remember, learners, that there are two ways of spreading light. To be the candle or to be the mirror that reflects the light. I just want to pause here for the moment, Madam Minister, and I just want to say to you from the bottom of my heart, this is not part of my speech I prepared. I've been here since the day of inception, and I've seen many dignitaries come along and promise. Your ministry has done 
and then spoken. And so to the 33 South African Navy officers based here at Simonstown Naval Base, who achieved so much in just 15 days, they are those who bring sunshine into the lives of others. The ones who will tell you, I've come to drag you out of yourself and take you into my heart. I've come to bring out the beauty you never knew you had and lift you like a prayer to a place that's blessed, a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. Some people, Captain Patrick, are like candles. They burn so that others may have light. There are a select few who will touch your life in a meaningful way. And after meeting them, their souls will leave an imprint on your heart. And from then on, you will never be the same again. It didn't only bring the smile to only me as a principal, but I'm, picking, I'm looking at the, all the stakeholders that always come here the parents, the learners, the community, everyone is going to benefit from this. And the beauty out of it is the cleanliness. When I came in, I saw the values. I saw the enter to learn, live to serve. I thought this is what we are here. We are here to enter to learn. And I also learned that sharing is caring. And believe me, in this month, one of the values that we've been promoting to the learners is that last month we were talking about the kindness and February is a month of caring and look what is kindness and caring together has come and 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 done this I'm feeling so emotional because I'm looking where I was writing all these letters two weeks they come back and with a good answer I'm so humbled and I'm so grateful. Really, I don't believe that good things, they do come to those who need more. Because these learners, they deserve the best. They've been marginalized, you know? Names have been called to them. Last night, I went with them with a the color we were invited. And one thing, what they said to me was, Come, coming from school of skills, you know, severe, but mix with those who have more than we have. That was the highlight to me that regardless where you are at the moment, God is always watching and looking. And good things happen to those who need more. And good, and good deeds uh, they come to those they need. They needed at that time. Blessed to that one who came with the thought that we need to go back to the communities. We need to share with those. We need to share the skill that we have, because while while people were coming in, I remember one. Uh, there was one in a captain from the navy who said to one of my boys, "I think one day will be." It will be you who will be doing this. And that, 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 that is how we transform, you know. That is how we, we mentor the learners that from where you are, where to. And now they could see with their skill, this is how the building it can be, you know. Because they never understand the, the value of what they are, uh, they are learning here. You know, with your skill, with the gift of hand that God has given you, it's not all of us, we can be academics. We can be doctors and nurses, whatever. But with what God has given you, you can take it and transform to those who, who, who doesn't have anything. And when I was opening the year with my teachers, I said, what assignment do we have for this year? That was the very same question I asked them. What is your assignment this year? What, must, what was my assignment this year? And I, I'm sure even people who came in, they have their own assignment during the year, you know. But look at how do we start all of us, our assignment, with a positive note. I'm so humbled. I'm so grateful. Gratitude to all those who entered this building and make a change. And gratitude to all those who brought the smile to all of us. These tears are tears of saying how happy I am. 
and the vision and the thoughts, they are coming very strongly. I've been waiting for this day. Is as if it's a dream. And as if somebody is going to wake me up saying that it's always a dream. Mm. And I think good things will be coming. Mm. It's the start of the good things. By those words, I'm saying I can't wait for the meaning to start to come. And I think speaking from the heart, mm. there was not even a need to write a speech. Mm. Because you speak from the heart. This is what exactly that happens. It created more positive mood among us as the staff. Parents, they can see that their children, when they're inside here, they will be safe. Also, I'm sure the Department of Education, they are going to acknowledge that good things, they do come to those that they need more. So by those words, I'm saying thank you so much. May our Lord keep on blessing all those hands that brought change here. And may our Lord bring life to that mind that sat down and said, we need to go back to the communities and have these outreach pro uh, uh, programs. I so wish even the ones that deserve more than us can benefit to this kind of uh, 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 programs. I know this is the fourth province that is getting this. I've received that, but I so wish others could get more.